A neck mass is a bump or lump on the neck. Neck masses can be present from birth, but usually develop within the first five years of your child's life. They are generally painless unless infected. There are two types of neck masses, solid or cystic. A solid mass is a dense lump of tissue, while a cystic mass is a sac that fills with fluid. Neck masses can be central, on the front of the neck, or lateral, on the left or right side of the neck. A thyroglossal duct cyst is an example of a central cystic neck mass. This type of cyst grows from the structures that form the thyroid gland, an organ in the neck that helps control metabolism. During fetal development, the thyroid gland travels down the neck from the back of the tongue, forming an open path called a tract. This tract closes during development, but can remain open in some children. A pocket of fluid can grow if the tract stays open. This is the cyst. Your child's doctor can diagnose a thyroglossal duct cyst by asking them to stick out their tongue, which causes the cyst to move up and down. The diagnosis is confirmed using ultrasound or other imaging methods. The cyst can be removed with surgery if it becomes infected, is draining, to decrease the risk of thyroid cancer from developing in the cyst, or because you may not like how it looks. The surgery happens in an operating room. First, your child will be given general anesthesia, a medication that makes your child sleep and keeps them from remembering or feeling any pain during the operation. After your child has fallen asleep, the surgery begins. Your child surgeon will make a small cut in the skin along a fold in the neck to help hide any scarring that may develop. Once inside, the surgeon will find the cyst, which can be stuck to the bottom of a small bone in the neck called the hyoid bone. The hyoid bone and cyst are dissected free from the neck muscles. The middle of the hyoid bone is cut and removed along with the attached cyst. The wound is then closed with stitches that are hidden under the skin and don't need to be removed. A drain is also placed. Steri-strip bandages may be placed over the wound while it's healing. The procedure will generally require an overnight stay at the hospital. Your child's doctor will take out the drain the morning after surgery. You will be instructed on how to care for your child's wound while at home. Swallowing may feel different after surgery, but most patients make a full recovery within one week. Call us at the Children's Hospital Colorado Department of Ear, Nose, and Throat to make an appointment with one of our providers.